Hello, Dinora. How are you? Hello, How are you? teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. I'm just a little bit tired because I went out today and I was out like almost all day. I recently get. I recently got back home, so I'm really tired. Okay. Um, How about you, Dinora? Are you out? Um, it sounds like you are on the street. Sorry. Are you? Uh, doing something like outside because it sounds like you are on the street. Uh, yes, I um, walked to my home. So you are uh, going home right now? You, yes, you are walking uh, yes. back uh, home. Right now we finished a uh, um, meeting, church meeting. Oh, so you had a church meeting. You go to church? Yes. yes. Oh, very good. With my family. Awesome. And are uh, you yes. are you Christian? Are you Catholic? Um, Christian. Oh, Christian. I see. Very good. Yes. And you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, I'll get all the information about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, I actually my family they are Christians too. They are ah. Christian. I, I come from a Christian family. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, but I can listen um, to class. Um, is adapting is the last the last, last class. Yes. that is correct. That is correct, mm -hmm. Dinora. Today is our last class, so I just want to thank you for being here, Dinora uh, and Jonathan. Both of okay. you, thank you. And today is our last class. 
Jonathan is driving. Okay, very good. I understand that, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you for letting us, letting us know. So, yeah. Uh, and Dinora, do you go to church every day or just some days? No. Um, in the shore, uh, the, there is meeting uh, um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Only three days. Three um, days. Okay. Yes. Oh, I see. Um, and for the for the Saturday, um, the meeting is in the house. Oh, really? Yes. So um, the hour uh, of the meeting is uh, at uh, six p.m. At six p.m. Okay. Yes. So do they come to your house and they uh, meet in your house and then? Uh, do something or how does it work? Sorry? So how does it work? You told me that uh, usually on Saturday, the meeting ah, yes. it is at home, right? So yes. how does it work? Do they come to your house or do you go to somebody else's house, for example? Um, yes. Mm, different house for the uh, realizar. Uh -huh. Oh, do or doing the meeting. Uh huh. Yes. So you guys have meetings at different houses. Like for example, uh, they have a meeting at, at your house, and then they have a meeting at a different house. Yes. Oh, That's I see. It. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And how are you? Only Sunday. Um, you go to that church. Uh, are you asking if I go to church on Sunday? Yes. You know, actually, it's been a long time since I went to church. I would say that it's been years. I, I can't even remember when was the last time that I would that I went to church. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Uh, honestly. I imagine that. <laughs> yeah. It's just that at some point, I. it's really difficult to explain, but at some point it was like, uh, you know, sometimes uh, it's difficult when you go to church because mm. people sometimes judge you. They like say, this person is not a good person and you go to church yeah. and you want to do things right. And people have a lot of expectations on you. Like they want you to be perfect and mm -hmm. not do anything wrong. So okay. that sometimes doesn't feel good. So, and... I felt like there there are there were like some people at church that weren't like really good people in reality. You know, uh I felt like even if I didn't go to church, I could be a good people a good person still. So that's okay. what what I thought at some point. But I don't know. I mean <laughs> eso es lo que pienso yo. Es lo que pienso yo, Nora. Creo que en un momento fue como que dije yo, bueno, o sea, no creo que tenga que ir a la iglesia para ser una buena persona. Oh, Eso fue, yes. fue como que algo que pensé en un momento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Aparte de que en muchas ocasiones, pues, había personas, yo creo que no todos son así, pero uh -huh. había algunas personas que a veces están en la iglesia y, pues, la verdad dejaban mucho que desear, ¿verdad? Yo no voy a juzgar a nadie, pero, uh -huh. eh, o sea, no, no quiero juzgar a nadie porque cada quien tiene su vida y puede hacer lo que quiera con ella. Pero okay. mucha gente a veces eh, va a la iglesia, digamos. No creo que sea usted el caso, pero hay mucha gente uh -huh. que va a la iglesia y a veces como que ni siquiera hacen las cosas bien y quieren decirle a los demás cómo hacerlas. Sí, Entonces, hay de todo. Sí, hay de todo. Entonces, uh -huh. es, eso era como que me, no sé, algún punto me, me decepcionó un poco. Oh, y okay. I lost interest in, uh, I lost interest in going to church. So that's what happened. Yeah. But okay. maybe I maybe I can go back one day. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, first God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God's will. God's will. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. how we say it. In English, you want to say like, for example, eh, primero Dios, como lo decimos en español, ¿verdad? Uh, uh, it is God's will. God's will. God. God's will. Uh huh. I'm going okay. to I'm going to write it for you in the chat so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Because we have God's forbid and God's will. 
Oh, Those God. are like oh, yeah. two opposite things. So God's will mm -hmm. is like Dios quiera, ¿verdad? Y el otro oh, es yeah. y el otro es como que Dios no quiera. <laughs> <laughs> Dios no quiera. But right. it, this word um, is God God now do you? No. Excuse me? Can you say it again? Uh, Dinora, because I couldn't hear you. There is like some background noise here on my end. I apologize. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I have, um, I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you have any pets, any animals, but I have four dogs. So they can be really noisy sometimes. You know, they start barking and then they get all crazy. So, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos los demás que se han unido. Eh, Rodrigo, Evelyn, Jonathan. Jonathan is driving. Jacqueline, it's good to see you again, Jacqueline. Happy to see you again. We have Josué Molina. Very good, guys. I hope I hope that you guys are doing great. I hope you guys had a great day today. And this is our last class. So I'm excited. I hope that you guys are excited too because today everything ends today, right? Uh, we don't have any more classes tomorrow. We don't have any more classes next week. By the way, I didn't ask if classes are going to continue next month. Uh, yeah. Give me a second, guys. Because Franco wanted to enter the class. So he wants me to share the link. So let me just go ahead and do that. Vamos a ver acá. Okay, okay, okay. Give me just a second, guys. No sé qué pasa con Franco porque yo ya le había compartido el enlace y ahora quiere que se lo vuelva a pasar. Bueno, aquí se lo voy a mandar. There you go. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I, I apologize. I'm sorry about the interruption. So today is the last class, guys. We did it. Uh, well, you guys did a great job. I'm happy that we came this far. Like we, let's see. I see. Okay. That's okay, Dinora. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Sometimes we have connection problems like that. So that's fine. Yes, teacher. Sorry. No, it's okay. Thank but you, Dinora. Right now, I can. I can listen. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, guys. Well, uh, so I was saying that I'm really happy that we came this far. You guys did a great job. I think that we all completed all the activities. So that shows a lot of commitment from you guys. You guys uh, really worked hard because I know that at some point we had to complete everything. Like, I mean, we haven't even... Uh, we didn't even see some of the topics and then you had to complete all the activities, right? Like for example, we didn't uh, when we didn't go over section number five and then uh, you were required to complete all those activities, right? So, okay, okay, I understand, Jackie, thank you. Uh, you guys didn't even, I mean, I, I didn't even uh, teach you those things, but you guys completed everything. So you guys are awesome. You guys did a great job. So I just want to encourage you to continue like that. I'm going to ask because I forgot and I'm, and I'm sorry about that. I forgot. So I'm going to ask when classes are going to start. Let me see if I can ask that right now. Let me just a second, guys. Se me había olvidado. Ayer me dijeron que, pre, que tenían dudas acerca de si las clases iban a continuar en diciembre. Y se me olvidó preguntar. Así que vamos a ver, eh, vamos a ver por acá, por ejemplo. Vamos a ver. Así que, ¿qué piensan ustedes, guys, acerca de todo esto? 
de lo que nosotros de lo que nosotros hemos eh, aprendido durante este mes. Ha sido bastante rápido todo, ¿verdad? Yo siento que apenas ayer comenzamos y ya hoy ya estamos terminando. Así que ha sido todo muy rápido. No sé si ustedes eh, qué piensan, eh, algo que ustedes tal vez crean que podamos, eh, no sé, ir mejorando o algo que a ustedes pues les haya gustado, por ejemplo. I, me, me teacher. Okay, go ahead. In my case, I can connect, um, or, or I couldn't connect all the class for, mm -hmm. for the different re reasons mm -hmm. and the illness mm -hmm. or war. But yeah. I consider that uh, the the platform is is nice because and um, really really like really help me to understand. The mm -hmm. different purposes and the exercise, and because um, I haven't time to 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 start or to connect to the class, and when I when I saw to to the to the video, I understood the different topic, mm -hmm. and I consider that it's very nice, and I I I want to say thanks because um you have patience, you have patience with. With all with all the students, and you don't don't angry or don't be angry or or you are not angry uh, for with us. And for me, that's very important. And I say thanks because in in the other in the other uh, time, I remember that I I had a different teacher that say no or say me you should or the other. Don't understand the the whole, the whole situation, and mm -hmm. in my case, all the same things. And the plan for is is a excellent idea to to practice and to understand the difference. Very good. Thank you so much for that, Evelyn. That made me feel really good. I'm really happy to hear that in some way I was able to help you, and uh, that that's really nice to hear. And Yeah, I know that just like I always say, I mean, uh, I'm, al I'm also a student sometimes. So I know that sometimes we are busy, sometimes we uh, are sick. Uh, sometimes there are a lot of things going on. And sometimes it's difficult to be for an hour, uh, you know, especially at night. Uh, you guys have family, for example, Dinora, she has a baby. So I know that sometimes it can be hard. So I try to be flexible when it comes to that kind of things. And I always try to, I, I remember that when I was like in high school and then in college and all of that, uh, I, was, I always uh, thought that if one day I became a teacher, I, I thought that I, I, would, I wanted to be a good teacher, like not like some of the teachers that I had, because I had some teachers that they were just like angry all the time, just like you said, they were angry. And they didn't care about uh, students. They were like, uh, they, I mean, they just would come to the class and, and they wouldn't even explain uh, the topics and that kind of things. And that was really frustrating because I wanted to learn. I mean, I felt like when I was a student, I felt like I was, uh, go, I wa uh, I was going to school because I wanted to learn something, right? So, and I was really frustrated sometimes because of that. And I had really bad experiences with some of my teachers, especially from college. It was like, uh, like I said, I mean, they would just come to the class and then they would just say, all right, so we're going to study this topic today. And then they would, would have you like read uh, something and then uh, they wouldn't explain anything. So that's really annoying, right? So... At the end, I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to be that kind of teacher. And trust me, guys, that I wish I could be better. <laughs> I wish I wish that. And I, I, I mean, I'm trying to improve every day still. And I try to, you know, like uh, interact with you and try to make things uh, like easier. And if you guys have questions or things like that, then uh, that makes me, some, sometimes that makes me happy because I think that that gives me an opportunity Uh, so I can help you with something, right? So I wouldn't be upset if some of you ask me something because I think that 
at the end, that's the reason why I'm here. So I can teach something to you, right? And, you know, uh, so I thank you, Evelyn. I appreciate that. Es, bueno, muchas gracias, de verdad, Evelyn. Como les digo, eh, realmente creo que sí, siempre tengo la intención, ¿verdad? De ayudar. Eh, a ver, honestamente, que a veces con las clases en línea, yo a veces me siento un poco limitado porque no soy tan creativo. Ese creo que es uno de mis puntos débiles, la verdad. Eh, a veces es como que digo, ¿qué puedo hacer? Y así, y eso, ¿verdad? Y a veces no se me vienen muchas ideas. Esa parte creo que es de las que tengo que trabajar también, la creatividad. Hay gente que es muy buena para eso, pero en mi caso me cuesta un poquito. Pero siempre trato de esforzarme para poder traer algo para que ustedes, pues, eh, siempre que tengo una clase, eh, poder que sea dinámica, que puedan aprender. Yo creo que todos estamos aquí por algo, ¿verdad? Porque queremos aprender algo. Así que, Desde mi parte, pues igual, muchas gracias a ustedes, guys. Como les digo, incluso esta semana ustedes están acá. Ustedes ya terminaron con sus actividades y están todavía acá en la clase. Así que eso significa bastante para mí. Porque si no, pues aquí estaría yo solito probablemente, ¿verdad? <ríe> so, thank you, guys. Bueno, I tried, dice Franco. Uh, Franco was trying to access the class and he says that he couldn't. Okay, vamos a ver. I see. Give me a second, guys. Maybe let me try again. Well, guys, so I basically, for today, guys, I just wanted to complete uh, the topic that we had remaining. Like we had this topic, just it was just one topic only. And then I just wanted to review. I just wanted to like take some time to review the information that we studied during this course. Because I think that that is something good to do, like take some time so we can just, uh, excuse me, guys, uh, like so we can, um, give me a second, uh, well, take some time just to review the information and that uh, can help us uh, to not forget what we learned, right? Because sometimes we learn something and then in a couple of days, all of that is gone and then we can't remember anything. That happened to me. I mean... Did you ask me about a lot of things that I learned when I was in high school, for example? I I, I wouldn't be able to uh, like to explain you that because I mean that was a long time ago and I I can really remember. No sé si les pasa a ustedes también. Yo honestamente hay muchas cosas que aprendí hace mucho tiempo que si los intento explicar ahora, pues ya creo que no no me acuerdo. Por ejemplo, cuando aprendemos hacer algunas operaciones matemáticas de esas así como que encontrar no sé eh, la curva normal de no sé de algo la probabilidad con el tiempo pues esas cosas se van olvidando verdad entonces por eso bueno a veces un poco refrescar nuestra memoria okay so that's what we're gonna do today and like you said we had just one more topic here which is this one that's uh, 5.6 we have the objective that's the final one And this is in this class, you will learn how to use clauses with, when, and if for expectations, okay? So this is the final uh, like topic that we have, okay? So right now, guys, we're going to see another structure. Basically, all these structures are meant for you uh, to know how they work and also so you can apply them in your uh, conversations every day, right? Like, for example, when we see this uh, structure, it's not just the structure, right? But we need to learn uh, how to make these sentences so then we can use them when we have a conversation with somebody else, right? So in this case, the final uh, video that we have here is about expectations, okay? So we are going to use if clauses and when clauses uh, to say, uh, to talk about expectations, right? So let me just present you the topic and then uh, we are going to discuss the information that we have, okay? Ah, uh, there we go. There we have Walter, he just joined the class. Very good, welcome, Walter. I see that you had some troubles getting into the class this time. What's going on? ¿Qué pasó hoy, Walter? Normalmente siempre puede conectarse, pero ahora le dio problemas. 
That's okay, Walter. Thank you for coming. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So, let's see. Vamos a reproducir el video rapidito y vamos a ver de qué se trata, ¿ok? Ya es lo último, guys. Ya vamos en cuenta regresiva. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to, either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Um, and so let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first so let's try to understand this particular idea here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out uh, the following. That um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an uh, when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone. That's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the, the expectation is when you visit someone and then you then it's going to follow the verb to be the verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form it could be negative in this case it happens to be that it's on its negative form so when you visit someone you aren't uh, then this is going to follow supposed to you aren't supposed to and then it's going to follow the verb so in this case the verb is arrive Okay. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. Okay, guys, so I just want to stop here uh, just for a moment. So we can just check the ideas when that we have. Using... So we have expectations, right? We have clauses. Like, for example, it says, example, uh, sentence number one. It says, when you visit someone... And then we have like two possibilities in this case. Uh, is the custom to, or you aren't supposed to arrive early. Or it can be also the other way, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be negative. In this case, we have a negative sentence, but it can be also a positive sentence. Like for example, when you visit someone, you are supposed to bring a small gift. That would be fine. Okay, we can say that too. So basically what we're saying is that the expectation is that, to bring a gift, right? Just like when you go and visit uh, someone, I mean, I think that we do that here in our country. Like if you go to uh, somebody else's house, usually we bring something, right? It's not like we go uh, with empty hands. We usually bring something like, it can be like some a bread, it can be a cake, 
can be coffee. I mean, it depends. Probably that's what I would do. I would bring like uh, some bread, coffee, that kind of things, depending on uh, who I'm visiting, right? So in this case, uh, we have those two options. Like we can say when you visit someone or when you visit your parents, it can be when you visit uh, your uh, children, when you visit, we can change this part, okay? Basically, it can be something else, not re not necessarily someone. It can be something different, like it can be a different noun. But in this case, we're using someone for both of them. So that's fine. We can do that. So when you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift, okay? So basically, the structure that we have, it is when or if, then uh, we have this uh, clause, right? Like when you visit someone, and then the subject, in this case, you, and then the verb to be, right? It doesn't say that it has to be a negative form. It can be also a positive statement in this case. So you are or you aren't, it depends on what is on the subject, right? Uh, for example, podría ser, digamos, eh, cuando pudiéramos decir de, de otra persona también, cuando ella visita a sus padres, ella se, se supone que llegue temprano, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, when she visits uh, her parents, she is supposed to arrive early, okay? So basically, we can change that. It doesn't have to be just like this. But we are talking like in general, in this case, right? We are talking in general. We are not being specific about this. So basically, when you visit someone, it can be anyone, right? We are not talking about someone in particular. So it's just like, cuando visitas a alguien, eh, no se supone que llegues temprano, porque pues, puede ser un poco incómodo llegar muy temprano a la casa de alguien. Entonces, eso es lo que nos está diciendo acá. Básicamente es una situación en general, ¿ok? Pero pudiéramos ser específicos también. Pero en este caso estamos hablando como de lo que es socialmente aceptable o lo que no es aceptable, ¿ok? A eso es a lo que nos estamos refiriendo con esta parte. Esas son las expectativas, ya sea de hacer algo o no hacer algo. Bueno, vamos a ver. Entonces teníamos acá, uh, tenemos estas dos expresiones. Tenemos is the custom to, es la costumbre, es pues, casi como en el español. Eh, es la costumbre traer o llevar, más bien, llevar un pequeño regalo. ¿Ok? Luego, eh, también tenemos acá, eh, cuando tú visitas a alguien, no se supone que llegues temprano. ¿Ok? Lo que les estaba diciendo. Eh, no es tan conveniente, no es tan eh, bueno llegar tan temprano a la casa de alguien. De hecho, yo siempre que visito, por ejemplo, a mi familia, lo hago un poquito tarde y también les aviso, ¿verdad? Entonces, podríamos armar una oración de esa forma también. Podríamos decir, when you visit someone, you are supposed to call them first, por ejemplo. ¿Okay? Cuando visitas a alguien, se supone que le llames antes, para hacerles saber, no solamente aparecer, ¿ok? Uh, pudiéramos decir eh, de la otra forma, entonces, en la forma negativa, vamos a decir, so, when, bueno, se me desapareció, perdón, guys, ok, ahí está, when you visit someone you aren't Sí, ahí está. Supposed to just show up. ¿Ok? Cuando visitas a alguien, no, no se supone que solamente aparezca de la nada. ¿Ok? Sino que hay que avisar, digámoslo así. Entonces son como ciertas expectativas acerca de qué hacer o qué no hacer. Ese es para el ejemplo número uno. Eso es lo que les quería decir. Entonces tenemos ya tanto como que qué se supone que tenemos que hacer, así como que cuál es la costumbre, esas dos cosas, ¿ok? Right, guys, so vamos a dejar este acá y vamos a continuar. If clause, so I'm going to say if the service in a restaurant is... Ok, sorry about this, guys. Let me just... Uh... 
change this because it doesn't look good. Ahí está. Ahí lo vamos a dejar por ahora. Vamos a aquí. Good. Okay, that's the if clause. Okay. Then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject. Okay, your um, supposed to. Okay, and then that's going to follow the verb. So you're supposed to leave a tip, and then there's going to be some sort of compliment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green, just so that you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the is the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out, right? Um, after that, follows the it follows the the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in its appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures. And in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave, a t uh, to leave um, any whatsoever right let me go ahead and uh, give another example here uh, what I'm going to say is when you go out with friends to dinner all right um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit I'm going to say it's uh, and instead of supposed to I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or, or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Uh, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, what are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. Ok, guys, entonces ahora vamos a hacer esa parte, por favor. Me gustaría que ustedes me compartan algunas oraciones acerca de esto. Ok, acá nos dice, por ejemplo, ¿qué se supone que tenemos que hacer antes de casarnos? ¿Qué se supone que, que tenemos que hacer o qué, qué es aceptable hacer cuando lo invitan a, uno, una, a una boda? Entonces, por favor, eh, hagamos unas, unos ejemplos, por favor. Y si los pueden compartir o si los pueden enviar por el chat o los quieren compartir por acá, también estaría bien. Hagamos eso, por favor. Tenemos estas dos opciones, ¿verdad? Tenemos when, tenemos if. So we have... Uh, a when clause and then we have an if clause right and then we can say things like it's custom to uh you are supposed to or aren't supposed to or expected to or supposed to or for example it is acceptable or not acceptable let's try to think of some examples please let's try to think of that
Vamos a ver por acá. Ya nos compartieron un ejemplo. So when you visit some, some, okay, no sé, someone, me imagino. Uh, when you visit someone, you aren't supposed to move like in your house. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, that's okay. When you visit someone, you aren't supposed to move like in your house. Yeah, okay, like I understand. Like to walk around, right? Like to go from one place to the other, like if you were in your house, right? I understand that. Very good, very good example. Yeah, and that's something that I don't know about you guys, but when I visit someone, uh, it doesn't matter if it is my family or something like that. Uh, I just try to stay quiet. Okay, I just try to stay in at one place. I don't get up. I don't walk around because I just try to be as respectful as I can. And I don't want, I mean, make people feel uncomfortable. That's not what I want. This is Evelyn. When you drink alcohol, you aren't supposed to... Aha, right. Very good. Tengo muy buena la idea, la verdad, Evelyn. Muy buena. When you drink alcohol... You aren't supposed to, ok, recordemos esa parte, aquí está, dice supposed to, ahí lo tenemos la estructura, es supposed to, expected to, acceptable to, and that kind of things, right? So when you drink alcohol, you aren't supposed to drive a car, ¿verdad? Esa es la estructura que tenemos acá, la cláusula, sujeto, luego el verbo, luego supposed to, y luego va un verbo, ¿ok? Y es un verbo normal. Creo que no va un verbo modal, como can or could. Sino que un verbo normal. Pero muy buen trabajo, Evelyn. Muy bien, ahí vamos. Mándemela una vez más, por favor, Evelyn, ya eh, con las correcciones. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. You're supposed to get late. Uh, yeah, I think that probably, Kevin, you can say something like, when you go to work, you aren't supposed to be late to be late okay when you go out with friends it's acceptable to okay recordemos rodrigo otra vez when you go out with friends it's acceptable to pay the bills among all ahí está very good evelyn very good job when you drink alcohol you aren't supposed to drive a car there we go perfect Very good. Good, good, good. Like it. I like it, guys. Yep. Very good. Kevin, yeah, that's correct. Most of the times when you go to a hotel, uh, it is a custom to stay at least for the night, right? There we go, Rodrigo. Very good. Very good. There we go. Awesome. Okay, I like it, guys. I like it. Vamos teniendo buenos ejemplos y vamos corrigiendo las partecitas que están malas, ¿verdad? Esto solamente es como un ejercicio de, mientras más lo repetimos, mejor. Ya no nos vamos a equivocar. Así que buen trabajo, guys. Buen trabajo. Vamos a ver, luego Dinora dice, when you visit, ok, vamos a ver, when you visit, my sisters aren't supposed to buy her fruit. Vamos a ver, quiero preguntarle a Dinora, vamos a ver, Dinora. And yes, teacher. What would be the translation in this case? Could you please tell me? Ah, uh, because I'm my, not sure. I, my uh, idea is uh, mm -hmm. cuando tu visit Uh, visitas a mis hermanas mm -hmm. no olvides comprarle fruta oh, ok uh -huh. ok, muy bien, muy bien Dinora entonces podemos decirlo de otra forma, sería como okay. siguiendo la estructura, verdad, vamos a ver yes. sería when you visit my sisters ok, that would be the subject and then okay. the verb to be bueno, when you visit my sisters, that would be the, the class, right, I mean, that's, uh -huh. that's what I meant and then you that's the subject And then, mm. are, ¿verdad? Sería, you are supposed to buy their 
products, por ejemplo, or their fruits, in this case. Ok. So, something like that. Vamos a hacerlo otra vez, Dinora, y sigamos acá como la estructura, ok? Sería, when uh -huh. you visit my sisters, my sister. so you oh, are yeah. supposed to buy fruits, ok? Ok. Again. Very good. Thank you, Dinora. Oh, it's Kevin, otra vez, vamos a ver. If you go to the doctor, you are supposed to tell everything you feel to get an accurate di diagnostic. Yep, that is correct. Very good, Kevin, very good job. You are supposed to tell everything you feel. Yeah, that is correct, guys. If you ever go to the doctor, you need to tell them exactly how you feel. They are going to ask you a lot of questions. They will ask you, you know, doctors first ask you about like the general information, like just to confirm your identity and they, they start asking like exactly the reason why you are uh, in their office. It's not acceptable to be disobedient to, to guards, security guards, right, very good, very good, Kevin. You go to a mall, it's not acceptable to be disobedient to uh, the guards or security guards, right, very good. Teacher, I sent uh, Daniel my example. Very good. I can see that, Dinora. Está mucho mejor. Solamente tenemos que corregir un par de cositas todavía. ¿Ok? Ok. Porque acá, vamos a ver, usted, su idea era cuando visitas a mis hermanas, se, eh, se eh, es, ¿cómo puedo decirlo? Vamos, ya, ya me, ya me trae un poco. <risa> ok. <risa> uh, <ajá>. Vaya. <risa> La idea es que cuando visiten a sus hermanas, tienes ajá. que comprarles frutas, ¿verdad? Tienes Fruta, que comprarles frutas. Es como que se supone que tenés que hacerlo. Sí. Vaya, entonces acá sería you are, sería propositivo, no sería negativo, ¿verdad? Sería you ajá. are supposed to. Ah, ya. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, um, yo coloqué la N, demás. Ajá, le puso la N y también tenía que ponerle supposed to, porque siempre va a esa parte. Ah, supposed to by... Um, Then, then buy, fruit. To buy their, their fruits. There. Okay, there. there. Ah, the, yeah, the there. Ella. Uh -huh, I'm the okay. Ella. Okay. Correct. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Thank you, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> When someone invites you to a baby shower, you're supposed to bring a gift. That is correct. When you have a date with a girl, you're supposed to split the bill. Bueno, that is, that's good. I like it, Kevin, but I don't know if, Everyone is going to agree with that. Some people may not like it, especially women. Yeah, true. I remember one of these days I was at work uh -huh. and a girl was talking about that situation. Mm -hmm. I remember she was talking to another, another girl and she said, Hey, but uh, we went to La Gran Villa and we were, to, and we were having our food and In a moment, he told me, hey, let's go to split the, the, the bill. <laughs> and I remember the way she said in Spanish, she said, she said that in Spanish. ¿Cómo te pones a creer que yo iba a pagar lo que yo no me había comido? Si salió más de lo que yo comí. So, <laughs> was really, really uh, funny. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that it depends, actually. Uh, if you have, like, uh, I know, I mean, it depends. Because if it is somebody that is close to you, like somebody that you have a lot of confidence with, then probably you can do that. But, or I mean, I think that communication is the most important thing, right? Like... <laughs> Creo que ese es un problema que nos pasa a muchos. Bueno, a mí me, yo, no, yo no lo puedo decir por mí ya porque ya no formo parte de eso. Pero en muchos casos, digamos, las personas cuando empiezan como a salir o que se quieren conocer o algo, a veces se da ese problema, ¿verdad? Es como que eh, no es clara la gente acerca de qué es lo que quiere. Entonces, a veces se pueden dar esas situaciones. Como dice Kevin, probablemente ya, yeah, pues, o sea... No, no comunicó en ese momento lo que ella pensaba o lo que ella quería. Y también es justo, ¿verdad? Si ella 
no estaba consumiendo tanto como la otra persona, pues tampoco va a pagar de más, ¿verdad? Hay gente que es un poco oportunista también. Ok, very good. To buy them fruit. Ok, very good, very good, Dinora. Thank you. I, there we go. We got it. Very good. When you have a date with a girl, you're supposed to... <laughs> <I'll pay. laughs> Finally, yes, in order, okay. we did it. <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> Very good. Bueno, tenemos Kevin, tiene otros ejemplos por ahí. You have a date with a girl, you're not supposed to pretend a life you don't have. That is correct, yes. Very good, Kevin. Very good example. Yeah, I think that a lot of people do that. A lot of people pretend that they have money, that they are popular and that kind of things. And then uh, people just end up in a very bad uh, situation because people are not honest. I think that we need to be honest. I used to have a friend. Um, he usually spent um, like the minimum amount, $60 in a day. He oh, used yeah. to choose places um, a bit far from house and her house. And he spent about the box only for transportation maybe or maybe a food. So I remember one day he was stuck in an Uber and he ran out of cash. <laughs> so he got a deal with the Uber driver and maybe one week ago he had bought um a bottle that is a uh, one of these famous ones you can use to save your drinks, to keep them cold or keep them oh, hot. I see. Uh, uh -huh. A jetty or... A jetty. Jet mm -hmm. uh, jetty, so thank you. They are very famous so, and very expensive too. Yeah, so he exchanged that to, to pay the... For the, for the ride. The ride, yeah. I see. It was <laughs> funny, I remember... All the co-workers were laughing aloud for about two weeks after he told us that. So it was funny. And I remember I remember that for a reason I write my example. If you have a date with a girl or a boy, you're not supposed to become a life you don't have. That's because true. at the end of the day, everything goes. I mean, everything makes visible in theater for everybody. Right. That's true. That's true, Kevin. Yeah, I mean, if we lie, sooner or later, people are going to realize. I mean, you can lie forever. That's not going to happen. People are going to find out at some point. It's like, yeah, I mean, old, eventually old. people will know, right? So I know people, that, just like you said, that they pretend to have a life that they don't have. They just pretend that they have money, that they have uh, a lot of things and when that is not true, when that's not real. And then they end up in really bad situations, just like your friend. At the end, he had to exchange his very expensive bottle uh, in return of a ride. So that's really sad. <laughs> yeah, some people have money, but to pay <laughs> <laughs> right to pay yes that's true <laughs> i'm i'm one of those i'm one of those i have to pay a lot of things guys <laughs> bueno guys por último eh, muy bien los ejemplos que hemos compartido de verdad les agradezco mucho eh, me gusta que lo hagamos porque como siempre verdad hay cosas que tal vez a veces necesitamos ir por ahí eh, corrigiendo así que muy bien muy buen trabajo ya hoy creo que ya no se nos va a olvidar que okay, hizo so... Uh, then, guys, we have the last part. This is just like a very brief review about all the information that we covered during the last four weeks. So um, uh, this part, you guys already completed all of this. Uh, this is just a listening activity about, uh, it says manual, called Karen, and wants to. Uh, and then uh, we just have to complete the sentences with this, uh, you know, like with the correct answer, right? Like in this case, I can show you the answer because you already did this. So Manuel called Karen and wants to borrow her CD player. Okay, He wants to borrow her CD player. 
Okay, do you guys remember how we talk about that? How we have, uh, can you lend me? And then uh, can I borrow something from you? Okay, we have two different things, right? And then it says, Jeff asks the man to leave this message for Mikio. Mikio, I guess. Uh, could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Okay, this is when uh, we wanted to say like a message to somebody else, right? Uh, like for example, we said, uh, we, we had the example when we can ask something directly to somebody, but then uh, like if we want to leave a message because the person is not there, uh, we can say, could you ask or that kind of things, right? Could you ask or could you tell Mikio that that kind of things, right? Do you remember that? Then we have while the couple was walk, walking to the mailbox, a thief stopped them. This is the part about the uh, simple past and the past continues, right? Uh, the, so we are doing, so we were doing something when then something else happened, right? They were walking to the mailbox when a thief stopped them, right? So something happened there that interrupted what whatever they were doing, okay? And then it says at the beach, Yvonne, learn to be more careful about locking her car doors. Bueno, esta parte no me acuerdo muy bien, la verdad. Honestamente, no le voy a mentir. Que dice, en la playa Ivonne aprendió a ser más cuidadosa acerca de... Eh, bueno, creo que esto es la parte de los gerundios, ¿ok? Que dijimos que los gerundios pueden actuar como, como nombres, ¿correcto? Entonces acá estamos diciendo que aprendió a ser más cuidadosa acerca de... ¿De qué? Es un, es un nombre en este caso. Acerca de... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Ponerle candado o, Poner... de, o de... de... De asegurar, digamos, no sé. Cerrar, podríamos decir cerrar. De cerrar, sí. No sé por qué siempre me cuesta esta palabra en español, no sé. Siempre me olvida. Ponerle llave, ¿verdad? Como decimos nosotros. <risa> ok. Ponerle la llave. Algo así. La cosa es de prácticamente ponerle ahí que la seguridad, ¿verdad? Que no se pueda abrir. Básicamente eso es. Ya vamos, ya vamos a buscar la palabra exacta. Que siempre se me olvida en español. Write the request using the information given. Okay. So then we have, uh, this is very easy. You guys did this like many, many times. Uh, you want to friend, uh, I'm sorry, you want your friend to lend you her laptop for the weekend. So then uh, we just say like, could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? Right. Basically, esto es la parte de las requests, que lo vimos bastante, ¿ok? Esta es otra parte que vimos, guys, importante. Luego teníamos, otra vez, eh, could you tell, or can you ask, like, indirect request, right? We have an, an indirect request, somebody else. Eh, luego teníamos acá, dice, simple past, past continuous, or the past perfect. Eh, esta es la otra parte, ya cuando ya habíamos visto el pasado perfecto, que nos acordábamos que el pasado perfecto era acerca de algo que había sucedido antes de otra acción en el pasado. Entonces acá teníamos que nosotros seleccionarlo en base a eso, en base al contexto, ¿ok? Like, I couldn't call my wife to say I would be late for dinner because um, I had not put my cell phone in my tennis bag. She was pretty hungry when I got home. ¿Verdad? Ok, acá... No le pude llamar a mi esposa porque antes había pasado algo. Porque yo no había puesto mi, mi teléfono celular en mi bolsa de tenis. Y así, ¿ok? Y por último, eh, pues acá teníamos las historias. Y, bueno, yo había que seleccionar, la verdad. Entonces, es prácticamente una parte de lectura. So, I think that that should be it, guys. That should do it. We, we did it. This is the last class. We finished, guys. So... I just want to thank you again, guys. You've been awesome. I know that you guys always uh, put a lot of effort. You guys uh, always put uh, paid attention to the class. And that means a lot for me because I know that sometimes, I mean, uh, we can get distracted, but you guys did a great job by always uh, paying attention to the class. So I appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great, a great, a great rest of the year and happy holiday, guys. Thanks for all, okay. teacher. This is a, a very, very good experience and good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck, Jonathan. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, guys.
So, bueno, muchas gracias a todos, de verdad. Les deseo lo mejor, guys. Si nos vemos otra vez, pues ahí saben, ahí estamos a la orden, ¿verdad? Gracias, Walter. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Por Dios, feliz Navidad. <risa> Próspero año nuevo. <risa> Para todos. Cuídense. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <risa> Solo yo me quedé. <risa>